welcome to the Echo Park slash uh, <laughs> studio up here at TIFF, Lauren, Jennifer. Um, firstly, congratulations on getting to work together again. Mm. Um, this is what, number three? Number three. Mm -hmm. um, so what was first? What was the first time you met each other? What was, where yeah, was it? Where you Although we, we didn't get to share no. any scenes. I don't think I ever no. got to speak to your character. My character no, never no. spoke to your character. You just went by in the chef's hat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> in passing, we saw each other, but we never um, No, we never got to see a scene together. So Night for Dying Tigers, um, yeah. nurse thing. Yeah. Which was up here at TIFF, obviously, a couple of years ago as yes, well. Um, so what's that like as well, reuniting with a specific director? I mean, a lot of people don't get the chance to have that reimagined experience. So what is that? It feels like family yeah. to me. That's what it feels like. And, yeah. and you have a, tr a trust that's implicit, and you, you get to play. And it just it feels like family. And what's it specifically like with Terry? Is he your dad or is he your brother? Oh, uh, did, uh, Terry's like, Terry's <laughs> like, gosh, the, Boy, the, he's definitely the brother, like the very, very, um, the really smart brother, but with really good hair. I like that. The That's smart good. brother with really good hair. Yeah. You can care? Yeah, I can care. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, like, talk me through this, like, Grace obviously, um, you know, occupies the screen for a lot of the time in this movie. Yes. Do you like the Grace at the beginning of the film or the Grace at the end of the film better? You know, I like I like Grace's journey that she goes on throughout the film. You know, she, she starts out in a, in a very, um, in a very down space, you know, she's not, she's not doing so well. And, uh, and then she goes on this, this crazy journey. And I think, um, I think by the end of it, you know, she, she sort of made some decisions and come into her own a little bit. So it's, I prefer, you know, I like looking at, at her journey, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And obviously the person with whom she's having that connection is this father figure, mm -hmm. right? Um, for you, has there been someone uh, like a mentor figure whether it's in your family or not, who you've had that relationship, who you've gotten to discover and rediscover over the years? You know, my grandmother was always very inspirational and special to me, um, but very, very different from the relationship that Grace has with her father, but she's definitely someone that I always look to for inspiration in my life. And for you, Jennifer? Is this like that? Oh, gosh. Well, I think for inspiration, I've always looked to my mother. You know, my mother really inspires me. Um, really uh, so adventurous and so willing to learn every moment of her life and um, and I think for me I often learn new things about my father my father passed away when I was 10 and and there's always uh, a new story you know that I get to hear every Thanksgiving or so, <laughs> so. are you surprised that it takes this long for them to creep out I don't know like, can't you just give them all to me at once some every now and again I put my mom on film and I'll, I'll film her telling the different stories so that uh, my daughter can have them and her children so are you the only non-Canadian in this production? I'm an honorary Canadian. <laughs> in fact, my application just went in for land and immigrants. Did it really? Yeah. Congrats. Yes. <laughs> I've, I, it's like I'm the wannabe Canadian. <laughs> I'm, that's what I am. I'm like the mascot who really wants to be on the team. Very cool. Um, <laughs> does it change your relationship to a project too when you are like, you know, an executive producer or a producer on the project as well? Or does that... Like, is that mindful for you, Lauren? You seem to a little bit, definitely. Yeah. You know, every decision that you make is um, is amplified because it's, you know, it was um, Terry and I who who funded the film. So every penny, you sort of are, are looking where where it's going, and, and obviously, I, I you know hadn't had that experience before. So it's uh, it's, it's a whole new ball game. And you know, it's your money going out. You mm -hmm. want to account for every dollar. And also what she's not saying is that she's producing all the time while she's in the middle of shooting, in the middle of preparation. So in the scenes that I had with Lauren, um, she would oftentimes be on the phone and uh, trying to organize someone's flights, trying to organize craft service, trying to get make sure the light package was there, you know, when are we wrapping out, okay, and action phones off, and she's there. What? And it was amazing. I don't know, I was watching her thinking, I don't know, how you're doing this, and maybe it's just out of necessity. You do what you have to do to get the film made. That's what you do, and that's really what independent film's about, and mm -hmm. that's what makes it so exciting, is there is that dedication 
and um, it was remarkable to watch her on set, and she gives such a great performance. But as you're watching the film and you're watching this amazing performance, you just have to remember that 30 seconds before action, she was organizing everyone else's life and the life of the <laughs> production. It was chaotic. It was a bit chaotic. But you know, we had such a small crew. Everyone, everyone wore several different hats over the course of, of shooting. So everyone really. So it must be even. Was that something that you used though for the film or for the character, or was that something no, you just had to block out? That was something I just kind of had to block out. That was actually the biggest challenge for me. Was exactly. Really, it didn't even look like that. a challenge to you at all. <laughs> just look like, and the curtain's drawn, and now I'm this other person. <laughs> so how did it feel last night then, after having all that effort go into it? And have that all those people come together, and then finally you get to kick it yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. It was last night was really, really special. It was really exciting to to be you know here with everyone and, and get to see it on the big screen. It was amazing. Did you cry a little bit? I felt I, I did not shed any tears. Not yeah, no, no, I didn't. I held it. I held it back. I <laughs> I, I cried when I saw you. I was so proud. Of you. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, we're here. Look at yeah. what you did. It's amazing. And kind of the obvious journalistic question, if you had to curate a retrospective of anybody's movies, who would it be? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, here is I think we've done this half a dozen times. Yeah. It's, and then that's a question of whose movies do you want to see like, day in and day out, too. I'd go Tarkovsky. The first name that came into my head was David Lynch. I thought you were going to say Adam Sandler. <laughs> <laughs> Second choice. Okay. Second sure. choice. Yeah. Well, yeah. thanks yeah. for coming in and spending a few minutes with us. We really appreciate it. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.